Hello, hello, and welcome to my review of the anime movie Words Bubble Up Light Soda Pop 2021. Um, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. First time visiting the channel. Um, hello, my name is Aiden. We do a weeb variety channel. I think it's the best way to put it. And if you're interested in watching my movie reaction, I do have a full length reaction to the movie on the channel or... Um, and there's like a limited time picture in picture version um, until I need to delete it from Google Drive. So if you're interested in that, check that out. If not, then welcome. Also, this will kind of be a spoiler review. I don't think I'll talk about it, the spoilers too much, but just a warning if you're um, if you don't want to be spoiled at all about the movie. But yeah, we watched this for our September movie reaction and it was pretty good um if you didn't know um from my reaction because I, I like really popped off at the end i think it's like it was a pleasant surprise um for a lot of things because for one i don't i haven't watched an anime movie in i want to say three years um i am a big movie guy but i usually I mean, in general, um, I took a pretty long anime break from, like, 2016 to, um, 20, 2020 or 2021. Like, I started watching anime because I started doing reactions on the channel. So, um, so it's, like, and during that, like, during that, like, long period of time, I probably watched, like, you can probably count the number of anime on both of my hands. So, uh, just just to say, I, I haven't watched an anime movie in a long time. And I was, like, kind of hesitant because I was wondering uh, how entertaining is this going to be. Because in, um, like, my preferred genre of movie is horror, um, which is obviously a big difference. But I was really surprised. It felt very modern. And, I mean, we'll get into that when we talk about, um, the style of the movie. Also, I kind of got baited. <laughs> not really. I mean, it's totally my fault. It's not even a bait. Um, but for some reason, going into this, I thought this was a beach movie. Um, <laughs> it's just, like, I think I saw this picture, like, really small. Like, the picture you see on the video. And, like, like, that, it... To me, it just looked like a beach. Maybe it was the umbrella and the really bright color pa palette. So I was just ready for a beach movie. And when it wasn't, it was... I mean, it's probably better. But, like, I don't know. That also taught me off, surprise, off of... Uh, taught me in surprise. I don't know how to talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, good stuff. Good stuff. Let's actually go into details about the movie. Um... First off, story-wise, you know, it's a slice-of-life romance between, I want to say, high school students. Um, classic trope for anime, and it is it is a trope I like. I am definitely, slice-of-life is definitely, like, in this day and age, probably, like, in my top three favorite genres for anime. And I'm also a really sucker for romance now, um, so... It's very enjoyable. And I, for slice of life themed stories in general, it doesn't need to be a really deep plot. Um, I think the characters being written well is more important, having interesting characters. And they definitely succeeded in that. Um, you know, this I would say the main story is about... Um, teenagers overcoming their um what's the word for it overcoming their <laughs> sorry obviously hey if you didn't tell this is uh off the cuffs review i i don't script reviews for better or worse anxieties i guess maybe like stuff they don't like about each other or like about themselves um which is like a classic teenager story um and I thought they showed it pretty well. Also showing it visually with um with both the mask, Smile's mask and Cherry's headphones as like a visual sign of Smile not liking her smile and Cherry not liking his voice. 
which is a nice it's a nice little touch just you know if you if you can properly follow it makes it very easy um and yeah like i said it was more just these two overcoming their anxieties and from that deepening their relationship now as a as a movie obviously you can't have this super super well developed um characters like you can in a series obviously just because you don't have a lot of time like i think technically in the movie like to like show their growth of development they actually had like a mini one minute montage showing like a couple weeks of them hanging out together and stuff and um <laughs> like it was like it was like i think the time span was like three weeks which is like more than we actually see them in the film like i'm pretty sure like it's probably like a week or maybe a like a week and a half that we actually see and like the three week montage so more happens in the montage than in the film but I th again you can't really do anything about it right it's this and i think it is kind of smart just um you know you get the start of the relationship and then you get you know the more of the climax of the relationship um kind of the exciting part <laughs> um but yeah yeah i thought I love the ending, dude. I thought, like, the last third of the movie was definitely the most interesting. Um, from the whole record quest to the very end. Like, the ending kind of warms your heart. I don't know, like, what I was on when I... Like, in the reaction, I'm like, oh, this isn't gonna really take a, a romance turn. Because I thought it was just gonna be a slice of life and, like... 10 minutes later, I'm like, oh, actually, they're definitely going to get together by the end of this. <laughs> so, I was wrong, but in a good way. I thought, yeah, the last third was awesome. I love super cheesy. It's, it's not, it's melodramatic, I guess. But, like, and a good indicator of that is, like, if you can imagine that happening in real life. Like, I, if I was there, I'd be, like bright red man it be so embarrassing but you love to see it and it's a really great um a great way for um to show like the end of cherry's um character arc you know yelling when he hates his voice finally taking initiative um after being to be fair being pushed by his friends um taking initiative you know to go to the festival it's like a very good character arc for her or him 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 um smile's character arc, obviously it changed um i i mean obviously it worked out in the end but i feel like it was a little less developed than cherry but that's fine um you don't need to have an equal development between the characters to be fair um side characters i mean Again, it's a movie. It's not like you can have really well-developed side characters. Um, I'll be honest, everyone but the old man is, like, kind of forgettable. Like, you had Beaver, the Mischief Man, Japan, the Otaku, the two girls. I mean, I'm literally just looking at <laughs> looking at the picture. I honestly kind of forgot about Tough Boy. Um, but, I mean, they're fine characters, like... As long as characters aren't annoying, <laughs> like, actually bad, like, I don't know, bad's not the right word, but just annoying, then it's fine. And the, the old man's story was sweet. Obviously, like, the main focus is the two main characters' growth, but, um, the old man was, like, a really nice side plot to bring them together. Um, but yeah, let's talk about more about the technical stuff. Because I think that's probably where the movie shines the most, to be fair. Um, first off, I do think the movie would be significantly more enjoyable if you are... If you actually know how to speak Japanese. Or into poetry. <laughs> um, but more Japanese, just because, like... High... Because... Because the movie... Like, the two, you know, very... Very artistic movie... Um, you know, Cherry's interest being in haiku, haikus, haikus, <laughs> haiku, haiku, haikus, and um, Smile being a live streamer, you know, making it kind of modern. But, like, I feel like poetry uses, 
not only do they use like words to create a story, but they also use sounds. And obviously, I don't understand the Japanese language, so I don't really get it. Plus, you know, their vocabulary is a bit different.、Um, like the whole reveal about the like the record they were looking for, how the name, I believe it was like the name also means butt, butt teeth at the same time, which is like smiles. You know, she, she hates her butt teeth. Like, it, it's, it's a cool revelation, but it doesn't really like, mean much to me since I, don't, I can't speak Japanese, is all I'm saying. But yeah, I'm sure people in Japan would like, get a better experience of it from it. I mean, it's totally watchable without it, but yeah, just an interesting point. Also, yes, lots of poetry, lots of poetry on the walls, on the streets. I mean, I'm not a hundred percent a poetry guy. I did take one, one class in university about poetry because my high school teacher's like, for my creative writing, is like, Aiden, your best trait, at least the best work I've seen from you, is horror poems. Then I'm like, oh, that's, that's cool. I guess I will be the best horror poem person, poet, I guess, <laughs> in, in Canada. And then after one year or one semester of poetry, I was like, actually, I don't really like it. <laughs> But. But, anyways,、um, so, so I do appreciate poetry. I can understand that. And there's definitely a couple poems that were really cute. The, the soda pop one, you know, title drop was cute. The light, what was it? The lamplight one that he told, that was like the first poem he told、um, Cherry Toad to Smile was also very cute.、Um, obviously, the final poem was a banger.、Um, But yeah, very artistic. I think if you appreciate both poetry and, and know the Japanese language, you will have a, I wouldn't say significant, but a, maybe a deeper experience if you, if you don't.、Um, that being said, I don't actually really like haikus compared to like normal poems. I'm more of like a three paragraph poem kind of guy. But, but, anyways. Um, yeah, yeah. Technically, I, th- I was like really surprised about how. Film. I, like, I, don't, need, I don't know how to describe it. Like, in the, during the reaction, I wanted to keep saying, oh, I love how this is filmed. But obviously, it's not filming because it's animated, right? So I don't know how you would say it. <laughs> I just. I guess scene design, maybe? Because they use a lot of very modern looking camera angles that you see in like. Modern movies. I just, like I said, I mainly watch modern horror movies, or just horror movies, and maybe that's where I got the the feeling from. But they, you know, from they do rapid fire angle switches you don't really see in anime series, at least in my experience,、um, which was really cool. I liked it. I guess, like, because it's a movie, you can be way more creative. You have, like, way more. Space to be creative compared to an anime series because if you you can't really, I mean, you can, but it's like a 12 episode series is like feels a lot harder to to really use the creative juices. <laughs> but I thought it was very cool how they presented it. Also, I love the bright color palette, very summer like, you know, it's a summer summer story, so very good use of palette in general. Um, The animation style itself was pretty interesting too.、Um, it was very distinct because they used a lot of 3D CG in the background. And yet, yes, Aiden,、uh, actually, they use 3D CG in most anime in the background. You just don't notice.、Uh, yes, I know that. But I'm, I'm just mentioning it because in a lot of those scenes, it's, it's not as blended in. Like, I feel like it's a lot more noticeable than normal. Obviously, that's an art style choice. I mean, I don't mind 3D CG, but but I thought that was interesting.、Um, I guess they're just u- using it to highlight the <coughs> the focused characters more.、Um, and they, they, they did a lot of little animation stuff. Obviously, you have Beaver's. Escape on a skateboard, which was like Looney Tune chase level, <laughs> but it was very well animated.、Uh, it was catches you off surprise. It's a nice little intro thing, okay, to like get you get you focused in on the movie. The <clears throat> like, I'm not too much of a, 
of a stitler for an animation. Like, I'm, as long as I don't think it's bad, it's fine. And I like this. I thought it was good. You know, maybe maybe it's be also because of the whole camera angle thing I just talked about. But I think visually it is very pleasant with the color palette and stuff. The only, the one thing I didn't really like about the animation choice. And again, this is, I'm sure everything is deliberate. Is they, when a character gets a certain distance away from focus... They get like a Lego face, like their eyes turn into like two dots and they just have a smiley face. Like a lot of the background characters had it. It just, it, that was the one thing I just didn't really like. Um, I, again, they did it on purpose, obviously. But again, probably to um, keep the focus on the main cast, but... <coughs> Excuse me. It was just kind of awkward. Especially like, it wasn't just like random characters too. Like if Cherry like walked away from the camera a bit... He would, like, turn into a Lego-faced man, which was awkward. Mm. But yeah, I think the style was very cool. Very modern. I wonder how much movies do something like this. Because I'm not... I'm, again, I don't have the biggest anime movie repertoire under my belt, especially compared to anime series, but... I always... You know, I'm not, I'm not like, a super artistic guy in movies. I'm definitely more interested in good characters and good story but once in a while it really does hit the spot and i wouldn't mind seeing it from other movies too if they take a similar stance also the film was very D daruma themed which is the little red thing um i hate those things dude just because my dad used to have one and it scared the shit out of me the wish granting man and there are Darumas freaking everywhere, dude. <laughs> That's the one thing. Don't make a Daruma your mascot, man. I, it's still a little scary to this day. Um, emotional roller coaster. I think it was... They, they, they tattooed emotions well. Because, you know, most of the time it was just awkward and fun stuff. And once... But when it got sad, it, it got pretty sad. Like, the broken record just made me feel sad. Um... Her trying to fix it. Cherry crying when Smile kind of confronted him that he didn't tell her he was leaving. Thought it was very good. And the ending was very cute. So good job on playing on the emotions. It's a very nice... Well, I don't know if it's a nice thing to do. But it's a nice thing to have in a movie. If they do it well. If you try to play on emotions and it's very like it's not executed well it feels pretty bad so <laughs> um soundtrack i mean we've been listening to the soundtrack on the review i like it i think you know it's a good mix where the majority is more atmospheric but they do have some overpowering songs and if you've ever heard a review from me whenever there's an ost involved i always mention the same thing i like overpowering music that controls a scene um i think probably the a good mix for it in an anime or a series is majority atmospheric with like a top a couple percent being overpowering but i feel like most not even movies movie movies is an exception but f at least in anime series um they don't have enough overpowering soundtracks but i thought there's a couple here so i like it i'll be honest i haven't given it a full listen to besides listening to it right now but but yeah seems solid i was never really annoyed with it so that's always a good sign um yeah so we did story animation music voice acting i'm in sounds um i'm not really a sound guy uh, i talked about it a bit with higurashi when people bring it up but I don't really notice the sound much too much, but voice acting, I am a voice acting guy, and um, I thought it was good. I was surprised again, because this isn't a studio I know, this isn't, when I looked at the voice actors, for the two main characters, I don't know if they're new, but they have like zero credits, like I think this is the first um, performance for cherry at least according to my anime list and like smiles voice actress only had like 
three or four performances. So very fresh cast. Um, and I thought they did well. Cherry definitely pulled off a shy boy with a cute voice. And Smiles was very energetic. So very solid on that. Don't know about any other voice actors, to be honest. Um, but it was fine. <laughs> I think that's it, though. I'm I'm very satisfied with the movie. It, I then had no expectations, um, but it definitely headed in the direction of a good to really good movie. I don't really give ratings, but if I did, it would probably be like a 7 out of 10, which is good for me, <laughs> um, to be honest. Um, but yeah, fun time, fun time. Um, if I've missed anything you want to talk about or you just have a comment about the movie, um, feel free to leave it. I will definitely respond if it needs a response. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this content, feel free to check out the channel. We have a couple anime reactions and a couple anime reviews. Um, we're still pretty fresh in this genre of reactions slash anime reviews. Um, so it's not a lot, but... But yeah, also, if you have any anime movie recommendations, feel free to leave them here. Um, I want to do like a monthly or buy, not not a bi-monthly, a monthly or every two months movie reaction. Just because it is a really fun experience. Um, and I just kind of picked this out <laughs> randomly and it turned out to be great, which is good, but... You know, sometimes they don't always turn out to be great. Um, but yeah, if you have any dope movies, feel free to leave them. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Bye, bye. Also, this this is a bop. This is a song they played a lot. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.